Hello everyone, myself Abhishek Dash and today I am going to discuss about cathode ray oscilloscope which is the important part of the electronics and measurement. This is the standard cathode ray oscilloscope instrument which is mainly used in electrical and electronics lab and if you come in college and if you search in net you can see the diagram different diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope we will discuss the detail about this instrument here we can see the block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope cathode ray oscilloscope is also known as the cro it is the type of electrical or electronics instrument which is used for showing the measurement and analysis of waveform and other electronics and electrical phenomena Cathode ray oscilloscope is mainly the time based instrument that is in x axis it consists the time. The system of electrodes is contained in an in an vacuate glass tube with viewing screen at one end. A beam of electron is generated by the cathode and directed to the screen causing the phosphor coating on screen to glow where the electron strike. The electron beam is deflected vertically and horizontally by externally applied voltage. Now we are going to discuss the construction of CRO. The main component of CRO is electron gun or cathode ray tube, deflection plate or deflection system and fluorescent screen. Initially, we have to know about the electron gun or cathode ray tube. This part of the CRT emits electron, transform them into the narrow beam and focuses the beam on the fluorescent screen. It consists of an indirectly heated cathode, a control grid, an accelerating electrode, a focusing anode and final accelerating anode. These electrodes have a cylindrical shape and they are connected to the pins on the base. The name of electron gun originates the analog between the analogy between motion of an electron emitted the CRT gun structure and that a bullet fire from the gun. Now the second part of the CRO is deflection system or deflecting plate. In general purpose oscilloscope electrostatic deflection of the electron beam is employed. Here deflecting system comprises a pair of horizontal deflection plates and a pair of vertical deflection plate. The electron beam is deflected and the spot is swept on the screen by the voltage applied to the deflection plate. Now we are going to discuss the final part of the CRO is fluorescent screen. The inner surface of the face plate of the CRT is coated with a fluorescent material which is known as phosphor. The phosphor absorbs the kinetic energy of the incident electron and re-emits the energy as visible lights. Thus a spot of the light is produced at the place where the electron beam strikes the screen. The color of the light spot depends on the nature of the phosphor. A yellow green light for which the sensitivity of the human eye is high is usually produced a general purpose oscilloscope. After construction, we need to know the application of CRO. Electrical quantities measured by the CRO can be done like amplitude, time period and frequency measurement so that CRO is used to measure the amplitude the measurement of time period and measurement of frequency and the phase difference measurement. From CRO, we cannot measure frequency directly. We need to calculate initially the time period and then we from the frequency uh, from the time period we can calculate the frequency. There are different type of oscilloscope. Among them, here we are discussing about the dual test oscilloscope. This is the block diagram of dual test oscilloscope. Later, we are going to discuss the 
detail of dual trace oscilloscope. In dual trace oscilloscope, a single electron beam generates two trays that undergoes deflection to independent sources. In other, to produce two separate trays, basically two methods are used, known as alternate and chopped mode. Now we are going to discuss the detail about the dual trace oscilloscope. There are two separate vertical input channel and this use separate attenuator and pre-amplifier stages. Therefore, the amplitude of the each input can be individually controlled. After pre-amplification, the two channels meet at an electronic switch. This has the ability to pass one channel at the time into the vertical amplifier. There are two common operating modes for the electronic switch called alternate and chop, which I have already told, and these are selected from the instrument front panel. The time based circuit is similar to the single input oscilloscope switch, allow the circuit to be triggered on the other of the channel of the waveform or on line frequency or in the external signal. Now we are going to discuss digital storage oscilloscope. This is the most important part of the oscilloscope sector because many institute and many sector use digital storage oscilloscope nowadays. And this is the block diagram of digital storage oscilloscope. Later we, we, are, we are going to discuss the detail about the digital storage oscilloscope. The digital storage oscilloscope or DSO is an instrument which gives the storage of a digital waveform or the digital copy of the waveform. It allows us to store the signal or the waveform in the digital format and in the digital memory also it allows us to do the digital signal processing techniques over the signal. The maximum frequency measured to on the digital storage oscilloscope depends upon the things they are, sampling rate of the scope and the nature of the converter. Now we are going to discuss the construction of the digital storage oscilloscope. A digital storage digitizes the input signal so that all subsequent signals are in digital form. A conventional CRT is used and storage occurs in electronics digital memory. The input signal is digitized and stored in memory in digital form. In this state, it is capable of being analyzed to produce a variety of different information. To view the display on the CRT, the data from the memory is reconstructed in analog form. There are lots of other things in CRO because CRO is a vast chapter. So you have a, if you have any query and any doubt, free to contact in the given number. Thank you.